Hey guys, even here, and uh, I don't know if you heard about this show, it's called Monster Zim Pro Show over there in Korea, in Asia. And uh, I already mentioned this in one of my videos before, but I wanted to go a little bit further more into details since these high quality photos were published on the NPC online news website. So here you can see the top two in 212 category. Of course, you may notice uh, Hiratari Magishi on the right, who is a very popular bodybuilder. He was uh, in the Generation Iron movie 2013, the original movie, the only good Generation Iron movie, really. And on the left here, you have sort of a newcomer. This guy trains in Kuwait in the oxygen gym, and his name is Ahmed Verdani, or that's what his Instagram says. So Ahmed here was second, and Hide was first. Now, I thought this was, well, at least, let's say it's controversial. Let's just say it's controversial, but I have a little bit more to say about this. And everybody was talking about that controversy between Juan Morel and Nathan Diasha at the same show. That Juan Morel was leading and Nathan Diasha was third in the pre-judging and then later the night show uh, Nathan somehow won. So that's another topic for another video, but I want to focus on this on 212 because this case on quote-unquote robbery was more prominent than the one in the open. So we have the photos, the HD photos of uh, all the poses, all the mandatory poses right here, and we are gonna check out all of them right now, and let's see what happened here. And look, Hide is Milo Sharchev's boy, he is training him. Milo Sharchev is from Serbia, he's like my role model. So I would be talking trash about Hide if I didn't really feel like it. So I think he didn't deserve this victory, honestly. I just don't see it. I don't see how he won it, how he deserved it. Basically, the show is held in Korea. Hide is from Japan. I don't know how much influence does that make. You guys tell me if you know. But uh, whatever. I mean, let's put that aside. What else do we have? Why would this be robbery? Is it because he's trained by Milos Sharchev? Does Milos have a huge influence on IBB? I also don't think so. I guess the only reason is his name. He has a more relevant name because of the Instagram and that Generation R movie and so on. But basically, me personally, I just don't like to believe in politics. I want to believe that IBB judging is on point. But sometimes when something like this happens, I need to speak about it. I need to say what I think. Because I really think it's important, it's necessary to criticize this kind of Injustice? I think it's injustice. I think it is. And if it's not, then it's the problem with the judging criteria. So it's one of these two things, and whichever it is, we need to criticize it. So, let's go with this photo right here. It's a front double bicep shot, and you have been staring at it for as long as I was talking about it. And I'm sure you noticed a couple of things. So, firstly, the arms. He, I mean, this guy is known for his conditioning, and that's something you need to respect. And he has been in the game for a very long time. And uh, he's a Japanese guy. Not many Japanese people are in the IBB. But come on. His arms are melted away. He's done with his arms. He actually wanted to retire a couple of years ago. But Milos, Milos Archer, his coach, persuaded him to actually stay and to compete in bodybuilding. Because, yeah, he can still win shows, obviously. But he doesn't look nearly as good as he looked when he was younger. He has so many problems with his body, so let's speak about it. Firstly, the arms. The arms are a very important part in bodybuilding, in your bodybuilding physique. And here you can see that they are almost totally melted. Triceps are basically covering only half of his upper arm. At least the left one is. The right one seems a little bit longer. So that's also a disbalance, an asymmetry. Then you can look at the biceps and they are super small. Also the same thing, very, very short, and now smaller because of the age. You know, plumbism, that thing that plumbism, the thing that goes is arms. And then you look at the forearms, also very skinny forearms. Then you take a look at his lats. They don't look just smaller, they look deformed. What is the shape of them? They're actually popping on the top. They're not connecting properly with, with the rest of his body. There is no flaw in his lats. His lats are looking just disgusting. Disgusting. I have to be honest. I know this can be offensive, but that's how I see it. That's how I see it. I find this physique disgusting all over. 
maybe not legs so much, but the upper body, the arms, the forearms, and the lats, and that stomach. But we're gonna get to that. But as for the lats, just what is happening up there? What is happening up there? And then if you compare them to Ahmed's lats, <laughs> come on, come on, are we joking here? What the hell is this? And then we come to the most problematic part, and that's the stomach. The stomach is just a total mess. A total disaster. Just look at his stomach. Where are the abs? I don't see the abs. I just don't see them. Sure, he's conditioned, but what the hell is this? What the hell is this mess? I mean, look at the upper part of his abs. What is that? Is that skin? I mean, it's okay if you have asymmetrical abs, but look at the stomach on Ahmed. Look at a tiny waist compared to Hida's waist. <laughs> and I mean, then shoulder to waist ratio. And then also you can check the arms, the triceps, the biceps, the forearms, night and day. And another thing, Hire is constantly out-angling him. He's standing like 5 inches closer to the camera, which is okay, it's experience. Hire is more aggressive on, on the stage and it helps him. This Ahmed guy doesn't really know how to do it yet. And Hire is taking the advantage, so props to him, I don't mind that. But the way he looks especially in the upper body, is just not something that should be rewarded. Yeah, legs are good, they are bigger than Ahmed's, it's probably just the out-angling thing, but they are looking be better, fuller, more conditioned, so I guess that would be the only argument uh, for why Hide would win this, this pose right here, but not anything else, not any single thing else than that. And is that enough? Could you win the front double bicep just because of the legs? Not in my book, not in my book, let me tell you that much. Let's go with the next pose. Next we have a front lat spread. And I'm gonna try not to just keep ripping on Hide's physique. But let's be honest, what looks better here? I mean, come on, what flows better? Who has better waist and abs? Who has better weight taper, the silhouette, the structure? Who has better proportions? Who looks fresher? If you talk about conditioning strictly, and the polish, okay, sure, Hide is better. His legs are more conditioned and his chest is also. But then you look at the arms and the forearms and the stomach, the horrible, huge waist. It's just too much to be ignored. It's just too much to be ignored. I don't give this pose to Hide. I do not. I don't see it. If you guys see it, please tell me. What am I not seeing here? Because I can see. I can see how can Hide win this pose. Or this competition for that matter. But let's go with the next pose. Alright, so we have a side chest pose and uh, the first thing that I can notice is that uh, Hide's legs are better once again, but only by a small margin. I mean, sure, he's bigger, but I think he's standing closer to the camera first of all. And second of all, the upper body difference is huge. Ahmed's upper body is way more dominant. I mean, you take a look at the width of the shoulders, not even not even something to joke about, really. I mean, look at the rear delts on Ahmed and the flow, I mean, the neck and the traps. Hide is just looking horribly flexed right here. This is looking more like a most muscular rather than the side chest, but that would be also okay. If that's the way he prefers to hit it, that's fine. But then you can see the stomach popping, even in the side chest pose, where he can actually hide it with his arms. He can't really do it because it's too big. You cannot hide that kind of distension, and basically that is the main thing that throws me off in this pose, that stomach, that should be banned, that should be penalized in bodybuilding, yes it was in 2018, and a couple of times also, but sometimes the judges just let it pass, it slips somehow, and they give this guy, for example, right here, a victory, for whatever reason, I have no idea what the reason is, but I don't think his physique was better, and I don't even think it was close. He may have been a little bit bigger, and he had a bit, a bit better, a bit fuller chest, and his conditioning seemed a little bit better from the sides and from the front, but from the back, it's a different story, as you can see right here. So he's not even more conditioned. So check this out, back double bicep. From the front, it seemed like Hira is having better conditioning, but from the back, if you take a look at his glutes, and it's not only one shot, I try to find the shots in which they both look, in which they both hit the pose. So it's not like a transition or something, they both are hitting the pose right here. 
So, I mean, firstly, you can notice that the heater straps are completely melted. There is a line that shows us that there was some trap muscle a long time ago in that region, but there basically isn't anymore. Then you take a look at the lats. Actually, you don't really take a look at them because they are pretty much non-existent. Where are the lats? I don't see them. This is what happens to old men. So he lost his lads. I don't think he ever actually had some really good lads, but they were better than this. This is just not the type of bag that should be winning IBB Pro shows. Not the type of bag that should be at the Mr. Olympia. What is this? I mean, this is looking like an average old man who just got lean. I mean, just back. Sure, shoulders are great, arms, glutes, legs, whatever, but the, the back, the solely just back in the back double bicep pose non-existent pretty much, melted, completely melted. And you can also notice right here, I mean, because of his arm being so much closer to the camera, so much uh, in front of the Ahmed's arm that he's absolutely out-angling him and the entire lineup pretty much. And that's probably why his legs are looking bigger than Ahmed's. But even if they weren't, even if he wasn't out-angling him, even if this was the real comparison, the real ratio, Still, I will give it to Ahmed, I mean, just because of the back. Look at his back. It's a really good back. It's complete, it's full, it's fresh. The same thing is with his shoulders and forearms. Look at the brachialis and radio brachialis right there. And then try to look at it at his arms, because you won't be able to, because there is none, basically. A little bit, but definitely not enough. And then the glutes, not as conditioned as Ahmed's. They do look pretty soggy. I mean, Kide is known for conditioning, but he didn't really bring it at this show. No. Um, Ahmed, he's also not super peeled uh, in, in his glutes area, like the guy on the left is, or in his hamstrings. But neither is he there, really. So I guess the, the legs are kind of close, but the upper body from the back is definitely won by Ahmed. And in the back lat spread, we have a totally different scenario. Or do we? No, we do not. <laughs> no, we do not. Uh, it's actually the same thing and it's actually even more apparent that uh, Hide was not better than Ahmed. That uh, Ahmed is definitely robbed right here. Let's take a look at the lats, take a look at the traps, the overall flow of the physique, the waist to shoulder ratio. Then you also look at the glutes, the glute striations. The overall weed taper, the flow, the physique, just simply the completeness of a bodybuilder. I mean, Ahmed is absolutely destroying him in this pose right here, as he's pretty much in all the other poses, so I still don't see it. Side tricep next. Yeah, he and his legs are bigger and fuller, sure. But then you take a look at his stomach that is popping like crazy, looking totally disgusting. Not good, should be penalized. Then you take a look at his chest. Sure, it's kind of full, but there is no width. He isn't showing his uh, r his left back, actually, or his shoulder, for that matter. So it's not a really great way to hit the pose. I mean, he's showing his triceps a little bit better than Ahmed, but, I mean, look at the chest. Sure, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe fuller, more conditioned, whatever, but there is no upper chest, unlike uh, on Ahmed's physique, where upper chest is absolutely prominent. And the overall uh, flow, the weight taper, that should be rewarded. That should be rewarded. Not this. Not this. Come on, judges. What the hell are you doing? What the hell is your idea? What are you trying to award? If you keep awarding guys like this, that's what bodybuilding is going to be. Do you want bodybuilding to be this? I mean, look at his stomach. Look at this. And then compare it to Ahmed. Come on. Come on, bring the aesthetics back. That's what everybody wants. I mean, if somebody is tiny, little bit sharper and a little bit fuller, is that enough for him to win the show against somebody who has a proper wee taper and a really good silhouette and looks aesthetic and also has a lot of good muscle and a lot of maturity and conditioning and everything? I mean, come on. What the hell are these guys doing? I mean, guys, explain it to me if you have any idea, but... I think this is just very, very wrong. And we need to work on this. We need to talk about it at least. I mean, that's the least that I can do. I can point it out. Hopefully, it will have some effect. I mean, that is something that we are fighting for for a long time, for like 10 years back, starting with Louis Marco. So he fought 
against this and uh, he made some improvements really the the IBB listened to him and to his fans and his fan base was huge at the time so I'm trying to achieve sort of a same thing kind of and uh, I really want the aesthetics back in bodybuilding along with the mass and conditioning and everything so that's not something that should be ignored bubble guts the stomachs should be penalized as they were in 2018 and I want to see that at every IB Pro show and I didn't see it at this one and I am pissed. I don't want to keep seeing this kind of stuff. Somebody winning a show simply because they are a tad bigger and a tad sharper but somebody who is almost as big and as sharp but probably, I mean in this case it's not really that close. I mean this guy Ahmed is way more developed in the upper body in the back region and he has back to retaper and have very very good arms I mean the only thing that he doesn't have is uh, as big legs maybe as popping chest and maybe isn't as polished from the front but he is sharper from the back so guys I mean I know you understand me I'm sure all of you understand me I mean this is pretty obvious I just don't get it why would the hit win this show let's go with the next pose but is it necessary though? Is it necessary to go over this one? I really don't think so. I think it's pretty obvious what is going on right here. So yeah, let's just let's just do it. I mean the arms a huge, huge difference. I mean you can see the biceps and triceps, and then you can see the lats that are not that different, like they are in the front of the bicep, but still bigger on Ahmed. And then you look at their stomachs <laughs> and this uh, horrible, horrible mess of a stomach that here has just Disgusting, disgusting. I know how offensive this sounds, but that's how I generally feel about it. I find this disturbing. Not disgusting, it's disturbing. Yeah, that's what I think. What the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Just a mess, a mess. And then take a look at the legs, and right here, here is actually not out angling. Ahmed and Ahmed's legs are looking bigger. So he probably wasn't even having an advantage of size here, I mean. It's simply the fact that he was out angling this guy. So that's probably why his legs are actually looking bigger. And probably even more conditioned. Or at least the same level of conditioning. Maybe Hide was a little bit more polished, but uh, like 2% more. Barely even noticeable. So, again, <laughs> what the hell happened here, guys? How the hell did Hide win? I just can't make any sense out of it. And let's go with the final pose. I mean, let's just do it. I think it's pretty clear at this point that he was definitely robbed, definitely robbed. And let's go with this last pose, which is just uh, a final nail in the coffin. And if it wasn't obvious before, now it gets obvious because you can see the difference in the arms. A huge difference. Where are Hida's arms? <laughs> just totally melted away. I mean, just compared to Ahmed's arms, not even funny, not even funny. And then the chest, the fullness in the chest, just ridiculous, ridiculous, this victory for Hide. And the legs also pretty much the same thing like before, like in the last pose. The size pretty much the same, maybe Ahmed has a little bit bigger legs, but uh, Hide has overall, I mean, a little bit better polish, but that's the only thing, I mean, that's just a, such a small small tiny thing definitely not a factor that can conclude a winner Hide is definitely not a rightful winner for this show Ahmed was absolutely robbed IBB made another screw job so this was an obvious robbery why the hell did this happen I have no idea if the judges want to um, change bodybuilding for the better to stop awarding the bubble gut type of physiques and the insulin, the palomboism type of physics, they should penalize this. Um, Hide, Hidetada Magishi did not deserve this victory and 2020 Mr. Olympia qualification. He was not better bodybuilder for this show, not even close, if you ask me. Just an embarrassing robbery, an obvious one. What do you guys think? But if you don't agree with me, you are definitely blind. I mean, everybody has the right for their opinion, but this is just... Too obvious, too apparent. Just, I don't know, I mean, that's what I think. You tell me what you think. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more bodybuilding videos. And thank you very much for watching. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.